just start us off with your thoughts and feelings on the match. We knew, uh, I mean, first off, it was a great win. Uh, full team effort from everyone that stepped on the field, everyone that was on the sideline, the coaches. Uh, we came out there knowing, I mean, it was, it was, an, it was a weird game just because of the timing with everything. And, uh, you know, the lightning delays, we didn't know how late we were playing. We kept on hearing it was getting pushed back. But the, our main focus was to just, uh, regardless of what time we kicked off, the time we started to warm up, we just needed to be the team that brought the intensity. Uh, we haven't had success here in the past in terms of winning, and we knew we needed to change something and just bring the energy uh, all 90 minutes, which is something we did. We did well, even though we didn't have a lot of possession, we still won a lot of the first and second balls. And, and a lot of times that's what helps me win games. All right, thank you. We will start questions off with Sam Spiller of Stumptown Footy. Hi, Zach. Uh, congrats on the win and, and congrats on the goal. Um, talk us through that goal there on the replay. It looks like you had some very clever movement in the box to hold yourself um, on side there. Um, how's it feel to, you know, score a goal in such a big game and such a big situation like that? Yeah, I mean, it, it feels great. Uh, in terms of my movement, it's kind of whenever Eric gets in the box, no one really knows what he's about to do. So I kind of have to base my movement off him. So when it first looks like he's chipping it back post, I have to, you know, reposition. And then when it looks like he's dribbling down the line, I have to reposition. And then what I didn't expect, what she ended up doing was take a shot. And then I did literally just landed in my lap and I kind of paused for a second um, because I thought I was for sure, for sure off sides. I looked down the line, I, I looked around knowing the flag would stay down and that's when I decided to celebrate and uh, close to my, my family. My, my dad was over there in the section. That's why I chose that way. All right, we will go to Ryan Clark of the Oregonian. Hey Zach, congrats on the win and goal. Uh, what was that conversation like with your dad after the game? <laughs> um so he he didn't make it to last game uh at home against Seattle but he he grew up in Texas he has a lot of his side of the family's from here um so he actually flew out this morning and the, the two things he said to me were uh keep your keep your headers down just because I kept on heading the ball up against Seattle and he, I he think he texted me like three times the same text it was make sure you're covering the back post on the second ball so I think I think we did a good job with that. Um, but after the game, I you know my dad was proud. He he really was glad that I could score in front of uh, his friends and family here. Um, my my grandma, my dad. I mean, I had some friends who were stationed in uh, Fort Hood, Texas, from West Point Army friends. So a couple of them came out, um, and it means a lot because you know the game game didn't kick off until 10 p.m. and uh, just sticking around in this weather delay it was it's great to see that a lot of support from them. All right, we'll go to Paul Danzer of the Portland Tribune. Hey, Zach, talk a bit about your process after starting early in the year and then not starting for a while. What have you done to stay focused and get your game to this level? Yeah, um, I'm not going to lie. It's, it, was, it was hard, um, you know, finding a little bit of success, start with the starts, the first five games, and then when you – when you get more experienced players back in Dario and Larice, you know, it's, you kind of, you, my mindset has to be, I try as hard as I can every day and every training. And ultimately it's the coach's decision. If they go with me, great. If they go with them, um, I just got to put my head down, support them and work as hard as I can. Um, and it's, it, it's just a mental fortitude kind of thing. Like I, I could have easily checked out and, gone to training and just kind of brushed it aside and not tried to, you know, get out of like my weight, like just let everything go, let everything slip. I, I mainly focus on, you know, touches, my long ball distribution, my, uh, my, my fitness. I, I didn't want to let anything go just so when they, you know, when they call upon me in the random July 3rd Nashville game where they're saying, Hey, Zach, you're going to start this weekend. Are you ready? And ultimately, I have to be ready. So that's that's just what kind of like those moments. And I, I look forward to just so every time I step on the field, I can show that I'm always prepared and I'm always prepared to compete for my teammates. All 